Next year, maybe the Grammys will want Ozzy MD Skinny Care in their gift yes. baskets. Yeah. Or we'll donate a skin lift procedure. Yeah, well, and it we can get Brad like, Pitt. Could you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> He's had laser resurfacing because he had acne scars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he looks But so I'm not good. his doctor. I've never treated him. Disclaimer. Disclaimer. Don't sue me, Brad. But Brad. Brad. Welcome to the More Than a Pretty Face podcast, where we go more than just skin deep to explore the science of beauty so you can look and feel your best at any age. I'm Dr. Azadeh Shirazi, a board certified dermatologist, and this is my co host, Nurse Lacey. In honor of award season. Yes, the Grammys yes. are coming up. <laughs> this episode is inspired by the Grammys, but we're putting our own twist to it. We are. I feel like we should have <laughs> worn like our gowns or something to make it more, you yeah. know, or had award like show season. -ish. An award to give out. Yes. Almost. Yes, maybe. Almost, no. Yeah. You're not you're not liking that one. Well, okay. I'm I'm excited <laughs> because I think this is going to be really fun and stay yeah, the skincare Grammys. That's right. And stay until the end where we'll show you some bloopers. Some what? we are not proud of. But no. bloopers. <laughs> <laughs> OK, but first. Yes. Beauty or blemish? Well, I guess my beauty is I did the shoot this for Valentine's Day campaign. Ooh. And that was a lot of fun, but it was also a lot of work. <laughs> I am definitely not even close to modeling. I've never oh, really yeah, done right. that. But it is hard. You're like you a guys. You were like born to model. No, I'm not. I'm I I actually did. I have no idea how I got into media because I'm so media shy. But you are media shy, it but is, I it is hard. It's hard work. I have a lot of respect for models. I really do because it's those photo shoots. I mean, it was like two, three hours. My poor team, you know, they <laughs> put up with me for for that long. And then my I show the pictures with, to my daughters. I'm like, oh, what do you think? She's like, yeah. Wow, mom, you look so young. But I'm like, thanks. She's like, who did your makeup? I'm like, I did. <laughs> you can do makeup? I'm like, uh, yeah. Oh, so, what a teen thing to say to their mom. <laughs> okay, now I want to see them. So you're well, going to yeah. have to show me after yeah, this we'll episode. You. Well, okay, what about you? I would say probably a blemish uh -huh. because I went this weekend to Sephora to get my favorite mascara. Mm -hmm. And I felt like the oldest person in Sephora. Yeah, I, I don't. What think... is with all of these little tweeny little kids <laughs> and their obsession with makeup and skincare? It's it's just it's too much. I was such a tomboy there, growing up that this is like taking it a little too far. Well, I think the industry and TikTok, you know, we're just become these over consumers yes. of products, and you know, the teens are really getting into it with the drunk elephants and. Yes. These very expensive products. I mean, I just, it's crazy. It, it's a lot. Yeah. And they're using things like serums and retinols <laughs> and vitamin C. I'm like. Like their skin hasn't even developed I, fully. I know. <laughs> like, girl, you're like Wolverine. Yeah. Your skin has the ultimate healing power. It's like that, you know, the superhero yeah. Wolverine. Yeah. The <laughs> superhero. I mean, <laughs> you yeah. need nothing. You just need a cleanser and a moisturizer. And a sunscreen. Yes. You need three products. Simple. Yeah. You don't need Simple. all these serums and these masks. And yeah, I get people coming in and they never even had acne, but they started using all the skincare mm -hmm. and now they have acne. You're <laughs> like, wait, what is going on? It is. It is insane. Yeah. It's I, really overwhelming. But I, I get I get what you're saying with the. Yeah. With the raids of the teens and the tweens. Well, what I'm saying is I don't like to be the oldest in a room or oh. <laughs> feel like I look the oldest in a room. <laughs> so that's my blemish. Maybe because you were not like giddy <laughs> and like obsessed with all the serums and the potions and the lotions that maybe, these ones are on. Maybe. <laughs> so, so let's start. Today's skincare Grammys. I'm going to ask you what skincare products and procedures. Wait, wait. I, you got to wait, though. Let's talk about I really want to talk about the gift bags well, that are handed out yeah. at these award show. I was reading the other day that the Grammys are expected to have a $60,000 gift bag. Yeah, Did you know that's that? what they had last year. OK, let's see what's in them. 
You want to know what's in them? Yes. Tell me. Okay. Okay. This is ridiculous. A gift card from Art Lipo Plastic Surgery. Okay. Turbo Flex sunglasses. Those are actually kind of cool. They're like the frames that you can bend and like they don't break. They're like unbreakable. Okay. okay that's go on. Cool. Um, ten thousand dollars worth of cosmetic and rejuvenation procedures. Okay. Insane. <laughs> Five hundred dollars worth of products from Miage. Yeah. Don't don't come for me. Um, twelve hundred dollars. Bugaboo stroller. Bugaboo Bugaboo. stroller. (laughs) What if you don't have a kid or you don't want to have a kid? Well, that's what I was. Why? Why? But I guess you could sell (laughs) it. I guess. I don't know. I guess. You're getting uh, or you got or received a $325 Rifa shower head that's supposed to help remove scalp buildup and helps lift away skin impurities. That is insane. It's like Oprah. You get lipo, <laughs> you get laser rejuvenation, and you get lipo, and you get lipo. All of you get lipo. <laughs> like every single person that walks into this room. I mean, could you imagine? Like that gift bag is insane. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, and that's, like, that's a lot. That's well, a lot. And you're saying, what if you're not pregnant or have a baby? But like, or you what if you don't surgery. need lipo? Yeah, what if you don't need or you, can want you gift it? it? I don't know if you can gift yeah, it. Yeah, how does that work? I don't know. Yeah. Well, let's get into it. Let's talk about the <laughs> five nominees in each category. What are we starting with? We're starting with ingredient of the year. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to start with niacinamide was so hot this year. It, it really was. was. And you know, dermatologists have known about niacinamide for decades, right? Like we've added it to products. It's not a standalone ingredient, mm-hmm. but I feel like this year made it to be a standalone ingredient, Yeah, which I'm not too no. excited about, but I will include it in this category because it is a great ingredient. It's it calming. It helps brighten the skin and it's anti-inflammatory. It's great for acne, rosacea. Then we have peptides. Yes. Right? That was hot this year. Very hot. Peptides are the building blocks of collagen. We saw collagen came and went, right? (laughs) Because we realized that collagen can't get through the skin, Mm -hmm. but collagen peptides can. Yes. Um, And then number three is retinol. Which is a lifetime favorite. Yes. (laughs) Which is my favorite. (laughs) And then we have salicylic acid was also trending and ceramides. Yes. So we, we have to know. Right. Ceramides, which are the glue that hold our skin cells together. We learned about how the skin barrier is so important. Mm-hmm. It's so key to your skin's health and glow. Yes. So ceramides was included in there. And, and the, winner is... the winner is. Okay. You should be able to guess which one I'm going to pick. I mean, I would guess retinol. Yes, <laughs> obviously. Obviously, like, <laughs> like if somebody said you can only have like one skincare active in your mm-hmm. regimen, I would say retinol. Absolutely. After Which, sunscreen, it's the rock star. But you know, honestly, if you ask any dermatologist, they'll have the same answer. Do you want to know why? Why there is so much research and science to back up the claims that not only does retinol protect your collagen, Mm -hmm. stimulate new collagen, but it also boosts your skin's hyaluronic acid, Mm -hmm. elastin. It just makes your skin so much healthier. And, you know, I always tell people before they have a laser, I tell them, listen, you need to start a retinol. If you're not on one, I want you to use it for at least six weeks because when we retinize the skin, it heals better. better. Your results are better. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's all around better. Yeah. So anyways, it's, it's it is a rock retinol. Star. I don't have to really think about that one. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, the next one. This is, one is hard. Why? Because Aff- there's so many good ones. <laughs> Affordable product of the year. OK, number one, Differin gel. Differin is a dapolene. Really? Well, yeah, yeah I guess over, it is. It yeah, used to be so, over the counter. Yeah. You can get it for less than twenty dollars. You can get it, I think, for twelve dollars, fifteen dollars. Yeah. It's a great treatment for acne, for texture. Isn't it still over the counter? It's still over the yeah. counter. Yeah. yeah. So it's that's a great over the counter, affordable product. Uh, then next up is Rael's Miracle Clear Toner with succinic acid. Okay. Which and I that love means... succinic acid. It is so calming, soothing, and it's just such a gentle toner for you know 
maybe somebody who's got sensitive skin mm-hmm. but has some acne too. Well, I'm new to succinic acid. What, yeah, it's what? a great, you know, it's not as powerful as like glycolic acid, okay. but it's very hydrating and it's great for acne okay. and, and pores and so forth. So I really do like that toner. Okay. And then next up, we have Bioderma's Micellar Water for removing your makeup. Mm-hmm. I love that one. Yes, you do. It does such a nice job. I just soak it on a cotton ball. I leave it on my eyes. You don't want to rub your eyes, you know, when you're removing your makeup. So you let it soak. And it's gentle, yet the surfactants in it do such a great job of lifting the eye makeup and the oil and debris off. So. And you said you don't want to rub your eyes because it causes wrinkles. Yeah, you know, it's kind of harsh. You don't you know, want to do that. You want to pull on the skin. Yeah. Last week. Yeah. And she had never heard of that before. Oh, really? Yeah. Even like ophthalmologists and will tell you rubbing your eyes yeah. is not good. And they can see it on like MRIs and I, CT scans. People that rub their eyes, you're more likely to get ptosis as mm-hmm, you grow older. Mm-hmm. I think you're just more likely to kind of stretch that right. skin. I guess I never met anyone that's never heard that before. That's why they say, you know, use your ring, ring finger. finger. And I told her that. And she was like, really? I'm like, oh my goodness, Well, they say ring you. finger because it's supposed to be the most, most gentle, gentle. But honestly, you don't use it. the pinky is kind of gentle and it's maybe a little sexier. Maybe. I don't know. The ring is... I, I don't know. Sexier, this is more for sexier. Sure. That's true. <laughs> That's probably the real reason. Mm, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> when you're doing your nighttime. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then next up is the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. It's $16. It is a steal. Mm-hmm. It's an all around great cleanser, whether you have oily skin or dry skin. And then we're on to Snail Mucin Ugh. by Cos RX. I think that's how you say it. I think so. That was a really popular ingredient. So I probably popular. should have ingredient of the year. I probably should have included that. I I just so it just sounds gross to it me. Is, it I is. I just truly a snail and all their leftover mucus. People picking yeah, up and wiping on their yeah. yeah. No sa- snails are actually harmed. That's what they say on these snail farms. I mean, they just you know collect their secretions. That's disgusting. And then people are putting it on their face. No, thank you. Well, no, it's really you. mostly it's hyaluronic acid that's in snail mucin, and then it has some other things like peptides and like some other stuff. But so you know, what's your winner? What's the winner? Can I guess? Oh, gosh, this is so hard. I don't think it is. I think it's the okay. My guess cell- my cellular oh, water. Yes, it is that. <laughs> I mean, you know, just from hearing you talk all the time and well, what would your what would be the winner in your eyes? I mean, if I was going based off of popularity, it would be the snail mucin. Yeah, snail mucin. I don't know. I'm just not a huge. It's an essence. You know, it's not like a a staple. Yeah, it can go with or without it. But people love it and they swear by it. Yeah, let's do a poll. Because it's from snails. (laughs) Let's do a poll. You guys vote. Yes, you guys vote. Let us know. What would be the winner if you were the judge? Yes, of these? yes. It's a I, hard one because they're all really great products. I feel like their answers are gonna be the snail mucin. Yeah, I don't know, just because well, it was so trendy. It was trendy and definitely, yeah, it was definitely a, a very popular. Yeah. So okay, next. Okay, on to the next sunscreen of the year. Yes. Well, super goop unseen. You know, I feel like. People really love that one. Yeah. And I think we talked about that in mm-hmm, another episode. Mm-hmm. Like, it is pretty popular. It's very popular. Mm-hmm. And then we have, of course, Hydrogen BB. <laughs> yes. SPF 44, because it's my personal favorite. Yes, I mine use too. it. I don't wear foundation. I only use the Hydrotemp BB mm-hmm. because it is water based and it just gives me this coverage that, me too. you know, it looks like it's not going to rub in and then it rubs in. Yeah. I don't know how it does that. <laughs> And then we have Elta MD UV Clear, yes. which has niacinamide in it. I love it for my acne patients. Yes. It comes as a tinted version and a clear version. Yep. I was just going to say, specifying, just because it says Elta UV Clear doesn't mean we're saying clear because it's not tinted because it comes in both. A lot yeah. of times patients are like, oh, well, what's the difference between daily and clear? And so the niacinamide yeah. is super important. Yeah, I agree. So, um, Next up is La Roche Posay Tinted Antilios Sunscreen. Yes. I used to really love that one, mm-hmm. but I find it very oily for my skin and it's very watery. 
It is very watery. I, I prefer surprised. the Hydrotin BB. But again, you know, sunscreens are personal. I'm not yeah. saying that, but it is absolutely a favorite. It gives you great coverage. And, you know, I love tinted SPFs because yes. they also block out visible light. So, you know, if you can go with a tinted <laughs> one, it's going to be better for you. Yes. And then lastly, the Shiseido Urban Environment. This one is really lightweight. It is oil-free. It is very light in its tint. It's almost like this pinkish color. I don't know. Uh, but a lot of my patients love it. Mm -hmm. I love the bottle. It's kind of small. It doesn't give you a lot, you know, for what you pay for the sunscreen. But it is a favorite amongst my patients. A lot of them use it. So what do we think? I think the winner is what you would say yes. is whatever sunscreen you love to wear <laughs> is the, the best, best sunscreen. sunscreen is the one you love. <laughs> I can just tell you if I were the judge, mm -hmm. I would say Hydrotem BB SPF Obviously. 44, but yes. I am biased. <laughs> Disclosure, it is from my skincare line, but that's just. You know, that's what I well, love because it's not too oily. It's not too lightweight. It's not too heavy. It's not, you know. But I will say we do have samples of the La Roche-Posay. We do also carry the Elta MD yes. and the BB cream. And the winner in our office is the Hydrotin BB cream. It is true. Even yes. the male patients really yes, like it. Yes, it's, it's, I love that. And we use it post laser because it's <laughs> mm -hmm. mineral based. So it's great even if you have sensitive skin. But, you know, all of these are really great sunscreens. Yes. It's just a matter of trying it yourself and finding one that's right for you. This, this is what we do in our office. Yeah. We literally give people the Hydrotin BB. We give people the lower, we give them the Alta MD, they try it, and then we tell them, you know, pick one that you like because mm -hmm. everybody's skin is different, right? Yeah. Speaking of the winner, as a podcast listener, you get a discount. So keep listening for that discount code to use on AussieMDSkincare.com only for podcast listeners. Yes. You get a discount code and you get a discount code. <laughs> <laughs> Discount code for all the podcast <laughs> listeners. Okay, the next okay. one is moisturizer of the year. Yes. That's important. So Neutrogena Hydro Boost Cream. Mm -hmm. I have to say Neutrogena stepped it up this year. Yes. When they first came out with Hydro Boost, I was not a fan. One, it had fragrance <laughs> in it. I I think I made some TikTok videos saying <laughs> it's not a good product, but not they, you. <laughs> but this year they came out with a new mm -hmm. formula. Or a revamped one, whatever you want to call it. But I really do like it. Yeah. And it's been very popular with my acne patients and patients on Accutane because it is very hydrating. And I think they have it with a sunscreen in it now, too. Yeah, they do. Good. Mm -hmm. So then the next one is the Avene Sycoflat Restorative Protective Cream with Postbiotic Extract. Well, that's a I lot. love this Avene line. It's from... France and they have this thermal spring water in all of their products. Okay. But it is a really high quality drugstore product line and they make some really good affordable ones. I really do like this restorative one. And then the next one is Restore, mm -hmm. which is my favorite moisturizer. Why? Tell us more. <laughs> there is so many anti-aging ingredients in this one product. Mm -hmm. It's got the plant-based stem cells. It's got niacinamide, yes. it's got ceramides, it's got resveratrol, caffeine, it's got green tea polyphenols, it's got all these delicious ingredients <laughs> which makes it smell delicious like yeah but it has I, no fragrance no but it I think does it's the smell good yeah which is <laughs> a very powerful antioxidants derived from grapes yeah and it's so not a strong i find that it's means. so comprehensive all i have to do is use that moisturizer and it's got hyaluronic acid so i just use that moisturizer i don't have to use like 50 different products to get all of that in the one product yeah and i'm obsessed with the thermal spring water so i miss my face before i put on any products yeah well, be careful not to do that with retinol because it no, makes it, retinol I, more powerful I, if you apply it to your skin. But yeah, with moisturizers, mm -hmm. it's definitely the way to go. Okay. And then number four is Caudalie's oh. Premier Crew. This is very rich and it has resveratrol, mm -hmm. which is one of my favorite anti-aging ingredients. Powerful antioxidant. The only thing with this, though, it has a little fragrance in it. So if you get sensitive skin, I feel like all their products. It's very do. light, though. It's very light. So it's also another French brand. 
Got a lot of French brands in here. Yeah. Well, I know the winner is. <laughs> well, one last one is the La Roche Posay <laughs> Tolerane Double Repair Cream. And I have to admit, it is a really good drugstore yes. moisturizer. So, so if I had to guess, yeah. I would say your number one choice is Restore, but runner up would be the La Roche Posay. Oh, you know me so I well. I do. I do. I do. Just because, you know, they're afford like La Roche Posay is affordable. It's really mm-hmm. a, a great moisturizer. Right. Like it does the trick, it does the job. It has niacinamide in it, it's got the prebiotics in it, you know, to help with your microclimate. It may not be the best for anti aging. It's not like the fanciest, right. but if you're looking just for a moisturizer something to moisturize your skin it is a good buy happy award season pretties we're celebrating the best products of the year and if you're looking to upgrade your skincare system to get that hollywood glow ozzymdskincare.com is the place to start and to thank you our amazing podcast listeners we're extending a 15 percent offer to get your hands on the products of your dreams just use code bright 15 through February 29th, 2024 at checkout. This is a special discount we're only giving to our podcast listeners. So use the code BRIGHT15 to get 15% off your favorite products at ozzymdskincare.com. That's A-Z-I-M-D skincare.com. If you use OzzyMD skincare products, don't forget to tag me in your stories. I love to see you glow. Okay. So moving on. Exfoliant of the year. Yes. So we got SkinCeuticals Glycolic Renewal Cleansing Gel. Mm -hmm. This does feel really nice on the skin. And then we got Paula's Choice 2% BHA. Very, very popular. Um, It is a great exfoliant um, with salicylic acid. And then we have Clarify Pads, of course, Mm -hmm. which have glycolic and (laughs) salicylic acid. Yes. It comes with 60 pads that are pre-soaked. I love how convenient it is. and My personal favorite. Yeah, we use it for in so many different ways Mm -hmm. in our practice. And then we got Dr. Dennis Gross's Daily Peel Pads, which I do love his products. He does have some really high quality formulas with AHAs Mm -hmm. and then Sunday Riley's good genes lactic acid treatment this is tough this is is really really tough I was gonna say this is gonna be the one that I don't I would say okay all of them are winners okay so they're all winners and they're all different like they're They're all different yeah so like Sunday Riley's the lactic acid treatment is great if you have dry skin or sensitive skin Mm -hmm. because you may not want to use you know paula's choice two percent bha because that that one is great if you got oily skin so if you got oily skin the winner for you would be the paula's choice two percent bha or the clarify pads it's got salicylic acid Mm -hmm. if you got more you know pigmentation and looking for you know more powerful exfoliant then the dr dennis gross is good now, the SkinCeuticals Glycolic Renewal Cleansing Gel, I mean, cleansers that are exfoliants, you have to leave them on the skin for at least 30 seconds yeah. for them to be effective. So as long as you're leaving it on for like a minute, then you'll get your money's worth. But otherwise, <laughs> you're just washing it off. <laughs> so they're all winners. <laughs> yes. And then the Clarify Pads are great because you know, a lot of these pads, they come either individually wrapped, but mm-hmm. these are 60 pads, which is a lot. Most yeah. have 30, 30 at the most 45. So mm-hmm. you're getting a lot for your money. And the formula is just so gentle. Yeah. I feel like I can use it on my underarms. You can use it every, everywhere. I can use it on my face. <laughs> I can throw it in my gym bag. Mm-hmm. And if I don't have time to like wash my face after, I'll just sleep with yeah. that. So I think they're just very versatile. Okay, next up is device of the year. Yes, this this is going to be fun. Yeah, this is popular. People are so into devices. Mm -hmm. I feel like at-home devices are huge. So I'm so glad we have a category. So number one is you like laser hair removal. Yeah. So I actually did test out their hair removal device. And they're superior, I think, compared to other hair removal devices because one... They have a really large sapphire crystal that is great at contact cooling. So I feel like it makes their device safer in a way. And they're FDA cleared, which is good from a safety standpoint. Okay. 
Next up is, I don't know if you've seen Cures, those micro infusions. No. They're, they almost look like aqua gold. Oh, yes, you I have. You put the serum in yes. there and then there's these like little gold needles. Yes. And you almost like micro needle. Mm -hmm. Yourself. Yeah, yourself. Yes. Oh, you know, you have to do it kind of <laughs> lightly. And I think that they can be done safely at home mm -hmm. you just have to make sure you take all the right precautions right. and they do good do a good job in terms of have giving you disposable tips so you're not reusing those needles which is the biggest so it is concern. better than like those derma rollers yeah because the derma rollers the needle dulls yeah. after so many uses so i do like that one and then number three led light masks I love the current body one. That's the one I have listed. Yeah, I think that's a There's really a good lot one. of good data to back up the claims for red LED light yeah. rejuvenation at home. There's been studies, particularly like around the eyes, that really show a boost in collagen because I think that area is thinner and the light just works more effectively. What I love about current body is they kind of mold to your, you know, face. Mm -hmm. Plus they have goggle ones that go around your <laughs> eyes yeah. they have face they have neck they have chest oh i love seeing the neck and chest ones. yeah they I mean, look you like can you literally look like a whole little you robot. could just walk around the house <laughs> with like a whole armor suit of led lights on you i love it my girlfriend texts me around black friday and she's like what's dr ozzy's top like led masks i'm gonna buy one <laughs> this this is the year <laughs> i know everyone always asks me but i do like that one um, then we've got the new face device, which mm -hmm. is a very, very, very popular. popular. It's the microcurrent mm -hmm. and it does instantly make your eyes lifted and your jowls and like your more sculpted. Snatched. I honestly think because of the lymphatic drainage, <laughs> you're just moving that lymph over, uh -huh. but it's probably doing something, yeah. you know? So I think they're safe. They're okay. good. Not a heart, not a, not a believer. Okay. And then next. <laughs> the Nira skin tightening device. I don't know if you've seen it, but it's like what the, that one is. It kind of uses heat to tighten the skin. Is it like a wand or? Yeah, it's kind of like a wand and um, it's a skin tightening device. And so mm. my patients have really been asking a lot about this one in the office. So, so the winner is. I'm guessing the LED mask. Oh, you know me so well. <laughs> I think that one is probably the best bang for your buck. Yeah. And there's just so much data to support LEDs. And I think it's safe. It's yeah. easy to do. I feel like Out last all the year treatments, like... you can just put it on and like go into Zen mode. You don't mm -hmm. physically have to do something. <laughs> right. And I think I just do so much throughout the day when I do like a device. I wanted I just to, want to just, relax. <laughs> I want it to just work for me. Yeah. I feel like last year it was like the like at home laser hair removal and then it went right into led yes. and like led and just took the lead so many products yeah. now because we have more and more research mm -hmm. that back up the claims other not that i'm partial to this current body you know line but people do ask me about other brands mm -hmm. i would say cure has a good one yep. omnilux has a omnilux. lot of peer reviewed research behind it and dr dennis gross yeah i mean he's got a pretty good one too so those are some other really great LED devices. Okay, this last one is my favorite <laughs> in-office treatment of yes. the year. Okay, first up, we have the BBL Photo Rejuvenation, which is a favorite mm -hmm. of mine for people who have sun damage. It does so much for the skin. We also have a version called the Forever Young yes. BBL which all falls into this category. <laughs> I love this device because there's been studies that show people that get BBL photo rejuvenation on their skin, when they biopsy the skin and compare it to skin that wasn't treated with a BBL yes. over decades, that skin that was treated actually shows markers that are consistent with younger mm -hmm. skin types. And I'm going to mention it's not even just over decades. They one of the studies that happened just before the pandemic is they took like a 72 or a 76 year old. I can't remember her age, but they tested her arm. And so That's they did right. the biopsy on her arm and then they did three treatments, one every four weeks. And then four weeks from her last, they did the biopsy and her skin cells aged 10 years backwards. That's right. Yeah. I'm like. And that's why yeah, wouldn't we do this. There, <laughs> we have this, you know, it's it's evidence at the cellular level that there are 
changes happening mm-hmm. with the BBL that truly reverse the clock, yes. set the clock back, yes. which is one of the reasons why who is the tech billionaire guy that's like wants to age backwards? Oh, yeah, the one that like does Brian everything. Brian Johnson. Yeah, well, something, one of the yeah. things that he bought in his little cave, rejuvenation cave is man cave is, is the BBL the, device. Yep. So, you know, I think he's done his research as well. Yes. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Number two is the V-beam laser, yes. which is a classic. It is a workhorse in every dermatology office because we use it for so many things scars we use it for birthmarks we use it for redness rosacea broken capillaries Mm -hmm. spider veins and so forth so it is a workhorse a lot of times patients will ask well what's the difference like if they're coming in for the photo rejuvenation and our laser queen here loves to do a combination where she'll do the BBL and she'll do like the V beam. And then it's like a know. recipe. I can't just like <laughs> use one ingredient. I got to mix them together. Never. Her, she is not bland by any means, <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of times patients are asking, cause you know, me, I give all of the scientific data. I'm like, the BBL is amazing. And then you come in and you're like, and the V beam, we're going to do both. And like, well, what's the difference between the two? People ask all the time. They don't realize like it's mainly in that aspect. It's not going to treat yeah. sun damage, right? They're it's just, yeah, they're different redness. machines, but very similar. So yeah. I like to combine them. Moving on. <laughs> uh, sorry. Next. <laughs> Even though you tell me mm-hmm. she only wants to do the BBL. Yeah. Yeah. She's but let like, me just get one pulse meow. in with the V beam. Come on. <laughs> she has that one vein that's going to do so much better with the V beam. Just turn on all my devices. <laughs> <laughs> that's why that room is so loud. <laughs> Speaking of all your devices. I know. The next okay, one. <laughs> skin lift, laser resurfacing. Mm-hmm. This is, guys, when we literally take people's skin off their faces Mm -hmm. and let them regrow it over a week's time (laughs) and scare small children yeah it's probably the most intense laser that we do as dermatologists and i call it skin lift because it's like my own recipe my own you know little literally her own recipe with every device turned on (laughs) in the room (laughs) usually it's a co2 laser and an erbium laser and there's just really nothing like it. The results are so dramatic, but the recovery is when you scare small children. Yes. But not to worry. <laughs> <laughs> you may look like a child version of yourself after a couple of months. Yeah. <laughs> so next up is Halo Laser Plus Exosome. Yes. You, oh, you got to add the exosome. I love the Halo because <laughs> it's two lasers in one. One goes deep to tighten the skin underneath. The other one is more superficial. So it's great for somebody who's looking to smooth their skin, help with wrinkles, tightening, sun damage, like those deep brown spots that takes multiple sessions with a BBL. One session of late halo will really treat it. And recently, just this year, there was a publication that showed the halo laser actually helps with reducing your risk of skin Skin cancer cancer and treating precancer so we're not just talking about beauty here with (laughs) with the halo or even the skin lift we're talking about healthier skin which is more beautiful skin Mm -hmm. so and lastly microneedling with exosomes Mm -hmm. i just did this one recently (laughs) because i wanted to try our exosomes exosomes were huge this year yeah i had to include them in the category yes well how'd you do with your treatment I loved it. You didn't I even look like, like you did it the next day. I know. But that's what I love about microneedling and is that you're just really red for 24 hours. But I was barely red with this one. I yeah. feel like the exosomes really regenerated mm-hmm. my skin super quick. So this is a hard one for me because no, I not. personally would say skin lift. Yeah. It, you, but from a patient standpoint, <laughs> they may not want to go through a week of scaring children. <laughs> so I would say a happy medium would be the halo with exosomes because it is such a sophisticated laser system. It does so many different things and we you can use it for everything from melasma to dark skin to scars to precancers to just sun damage and facial rejuvenation yeah. is so versatile and yes there's downtime like three to five days but nothing like you know the intense mm-hmm. skin lift and now we're going to be honest the award goes to skin lift <laughs> <laughs> unless you don't want to have the recovery or the downtime but i would encourage you to yeah, do so <laughs> we highly encourage it <laughs> 
So this was really fun. It was so fun. <laughs> next year we're gonna have to come in our gowns or something and pretend like we're on the red carpet. Yes. Maybe next year the Grammys will invite us and we'll host it. <laughs> <laughs> no, next year, maybe the Grammys will want Ozzy MD skincare in their gift yes. baskets. Yes. Yeah. Or we'll donate a skin lift procedure. Yeah, well, and it we can get Brad like... Pitt in the office. Ooh, uh, could you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> he's had a skin, well, not skin lift, you know, my skin lift, right. but he's had laser resurfacing because he had acne scars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he looks But so I'm not good. his doctor. I've never treated him. Disclaimer. Disclaimer. Don't sue me, Brad. But Brad, Brad go but Brad. easy. Call us. But call us, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get you in. Yeah. You're 60 now. Mm -hmm. You need a little refresher. Yeah. All Doesn't right, guys. Hurt. This was so fun. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. Stay tuned for some bloopers. And don't forget, the podcast listeners only, don't forget your code. Go on AussieMDSkincare.com. And if you find any value in this podcast, please rate, review, and subscribe and share this with a friend because sharing is caring. And we love to hear from you. It's because of you that the podcast continues to be produced and we continue to connect. Yes. Bye. Bye. <laughs> in honor of the of the E News <laughs> red carpet. <laughs> <laughs> How, how do you have dental floss in your mouth? <laughs> 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 <laughs>